Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick review of this Titleist cart bag that I've been using. It is a cart 15 bag from Titleist. They replaced my Ping Pioneer that I have on the channel. Check that video out. It's got a 15 weight top. It says full length dividers, but we'll check that out. Has, it's a good quality bag. Here we got a top magnetic pocket. Still got some of my stuff in there. You see how deep that, that pocket goes? Got two marker or pencil stashes. Here is the cooler pocket. This is one thing I am not a fan of because it goes into this pocket, the ball pocket. You can see it right there. And there's no drainage. The Ping Pioneer had drainage. That's one thing I would give to the Ping Pioneer. The ball pocket's pretty big. Got some custom embroidery on the front of the ball pocket. Let's go to the side. You get two Velcro attachments for your glove and also two towel rings right there here is the both sides are the same this you see you have a velour lined pocket for valuables I don't think it's waterproof you've got a big apparel pocket and then you got this part that's for the umbrella if you can see that now this is cool, you got a zipper in there so in case you drop anything down there you can go in and get it. Let's see if these are full length dividers. It's kind of tough. Well, let me fill down to the bottom. Um, they are not full length. There's some space down there. Feels like the clubs can get tangled down there but I would say it goes maybe 95% of the way down, not all the way down, which is not bad. Then you've got this side pocket just open. One thing I wish this bag had that the ping bag had was the there was a little key ring. It was a little thing of fabric with a little key ring at the end. I clip my keys on. This it doesn't have that. That's a, a minus. But the bag's pockets are actually really big. And a cool feature of this bag on the back is you can extend the space of the pockets. So you see the zipper? That zipper. Zip it all the way up. And then look, it extends the volume of that pocket. Pretty cool. And it's on both sides. Uh, this had a, a blue arm strap, but the thing broke off the top. But good on Titleist, they sent me a free one. I didn't care if it didn't match, I just wanted one. And this one is actually better than the one they sent me. The one that this bag came with was wider. And I did not like that. I like the thinner, the thinner one. This one seems to be better than the one that the bag came with. And again, the same pockets on the other side. The velour, the big apparel, and this one does not have the zipper to access the inside. And then we got the other pocket has the rain hood inside that clips on or buttons on to these buttons 15 way top with the putter well I've been a fan of this bag oh don't forget these side little elastic pockets I usually put either some napkins or dog bags for whenever I take my dog to the 
Like there's some right there. Take my dog to the course. Overall, I have enjoyed this bag. There's a lot of things I like about it, things that I don't. Uh, Ping does some things better on their bags than Titleist, but I think the overall quality of the material might be a little better than Ping. But again, the features on the Ping, I think I would take over the features of the Titleist. Another thing that I liked about this is that the top divider system is spread out. It's not as compact as my old bag. So this is a bag that I would recommend. It fits on my push cart, which is a Click Gear 3.5, the older version. Fits it very well. Doesn't really flop or anything like that. One negative that I noticed is the bottom. See these pointy edges? I learned the hard way about putting it in my back seat. One of these pointy edges put a laceration in my upholstery, my leather of my back seat. So if you do have this bag, keep that in mind when putting it in the back seat. This is a bag that I think will last some time. I hope that it will last a, a lot of seasons, maybe at least five, but we'll see how it goes. I'll do an extended review maybe in a year or two. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Bowser. Follow, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow on Instagram at No Gimme Golf. Follow on YouTube. Channel name is No Gimme Golf. Now stay tuned for some more golf content.